I want to cover one other area of inclusion on, on, the, uh, on we the people, including all. Right now in 30 states, an individual can still be fired for their sexual orientation, or he or she have no recourse. An alarming 39% of the self-identified LGBT workers in America have reported some form of workplace harassment or discrimination, and yet they have no legal recourse in nearly two-thirds of our states. This is contrary to the legal expectation of fairness, or as you say, a fair share, shake for all Americans. And Congress has an obligation to stop this discrimination. Now there is a, the state of Maryland has taken action, and I, can, I congratulate uh, the, our legislature and governor for, for acting in this area. Uh, we have a similar effort pending in the Congress of the United States, and it has the support of 202 co-sponsors in the House of Representatives and 45 co-sponsors in the Senate, and I'm proud to be an original co-sponsor that would provide protection in the workplace uh, for uh, LGBT. My reason for bringing this up is that we expect to pass this bill. It's not going to be easy, but we expect to get this protection passed. I am certain there will be a legal challenge. Uh, we usually find that the case. Uh, once again, uh, do you believe that the, to clarify the definition of we the people so that all Americans are included in that and have protection of law? And again, will you give more deference to Congress as we try to create a more perfect union? Well, the policy decision, Senator Cardin, is, is, is up to Congress. And the, the questions that might come before the court are uh, questions, uh, uh, if, if they're uh, statutory in nature, um, uh, they would be appropriately addressed by the court asking uh, what Congress intended. 